Welcome to Blue Compass, where we're sharing how YouTube timestamps can boost your video's visibility, improve your audience's experience, and most importantly, how you can add YouTube's timestamps to your video. We will also answer just how long a video should be for you to consider adding timestamps. And yes, we did add timestamps to this video, as you can see below. Are adding these little title chapters really that important? Well, clearly YouTube is an incredible platform for sharing your video content, but there are some missed opportunities if you are not putting these into your videos. So here are three reasons that YouTube timestamps are important. Number one, they make finding content within a video easier. Uploaded YouTube videos are longer than ever before and keeping viewers engaged from start to finish can be challenging, especially in today's fast paced world where many of us aren't even willing to sit through a 10 minute or 20 minute video. So adding chapters to your YouTube videos provides users the option to skip to the relevant parts that they're looking for. Number two, timestamps increase your video's SEO. When you upload a video to YouTube, there's a few pieces of information you have the option to fill out. And of course, one is the title, but then there's also the description. And both of these provide you opportunities to put in keywords your audience may be searching for in Google or in YouTube. Timestamps in videos give you an additional opportunity to fit in those keywords. These chapters assist Google in crawling your content. Timestamps tell Google what your video is all about. So by clearly providing the content of your video in these short, organized way, your videos will be crawled more quickly and you'll increase the chances of ranking higher in search results. And as you can see here, these timestamps create more opportunities to rank in featured snippets in Google search results. These are called key moments. They highlight your video chapters, they let users jump right to what they're looking for, and they just simply give your content more visibility. And reason number three that YouTube timestamps are important is that they can be very helpful for users with hearing or vision disabilities. Such users often use screen reader software that uses text to convey information to the user. And timestamps give screen readers more information about your video, which can be really helpful to disabled users. So how do you add these chapters to your video? Thankfully, it's really a pretty easy process. First, you just simply log into your YouTube account and you access YouTube Studio, and then you choose the video you want to edit. Timestamps can then be added into the description area. Usually, you just start by writing timestamps or chapters, and then you watch through your video to determine the key moments. Then type in the time where your timestamp begins in the video in a 00:00 format. Click space, and then type in the title you've chosen for that timestamp chapter and repeat below for the next chapter. Now determining the title of each timestamp is kind of an art in and of itself and you want to make sure that you accomplish three things with each of these. And first is make sure it's descriptive. Think about the headings that you'd write on a page on a website or a blog and you'll want to put yourself in the viewer's shoes. Two, incorporate valuable keywords that you want to rank for. If you're a dog groomer, for instance, making a video about the best dog parks in Iowa, adding a timestamp that says locations I found isn't ideal. Instead, it should say best dog park locations in Des Moines. That's much better because your audience is more likely to use those terms when they're searching in Google or YouTube. And finally, number three, make your timestamp about 50 characters or less. If you make it longer, it can cause the text to wrap to the next line and look a bit confusing amongst the other chapters. Once all the timestamps have been added, just simply click save and your timestamps will automatically link to the time you've chosen for each chapter. Just keep in mind, sometimes it might take a minute or two for it to register, so be patient and refresh. Okay, so how long does your video need to be to warrant adding timestamps? Well, general best practice is just not to worry about timestamps in videos that are just about a minute or two in length, but it's not just the length of the video, it's the content. If your video is focused on just one main point, or if it's an animated piece or a demo and doesn't really warrant the addition of chapters, then that's just fine, you don't have to add them. Just think about what would someone from your audience be happy to see when they view a video? Would chapters be helpful or would they be unneeded? If we can give your organization a hand with YouTube video marketing or SEO, just reach out to us here at Blue Compass. We'd love to give you a hand. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time.